Good evening, 47. Our on-site intelligence has confirmed that the target has arrived at the restaurant and that his security team has already swept the area. Good hunting. That's Abel De Silva. He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. He was in Death and Taxes and, and Flat Earth Society. Yeah, I, I like Top 40. Quite. Uh, anyway, De Silva's filling in for the drummer and going to cross the band back. By the way, why would my dining experience is being ruined? I'm sorry, Mr. Wen. And well, you should be. He's the most terribly accurate stench in the air. The tire cleaner or some such. Are, are you wearing cologne? Well, well my girlfriend's a, a perfumier, and, and she, um... Stop it. Are you trying to kill me? Is this some sick joke? You know I am coming to visit your little establishment, and you decide, lovely, let me utterly cack all over it. Is that it? I assure you, sir, I, I never thought of it. I can barely breathe, you beast. I shall have to recalibrate my entire experiential baseline. But don't you think for one moment that your little trick will work? Nobody fools when inside. You shan't conceal this mediocre experience beneath the reek of tile cleaner. to the chef.
was so, sir. Smile for that extra tip. And you claim this to be a pilaf. I call it an affront. An affront, I say. Stop it. Are you trying to kill me? Is this some sick joke? You know I am coming to visit your little establishment, and you decide, lovely, let me utterly cack all over it. Is that it? Yes, I am well aware that the fake topper is missing. Coconut and Tari come through swimmer crab with calamansi life. It's only numbers! I'm sure Jordan Cross doesn't need a cake to remind him how old he is. The kitchen should be a place of meditation. Thomas is not The cake is his idea. This place is a front to the devil's costume. I have a nice thought. The table three is complaining about the wait. To hurry it up, hurry it up. The table four, hear the orders. People with the... I am terribly sorry to interrupt, Chef Bernard, but may I introduce you to the famous... Hey, what did I tell you about bringing fine, people thanks. down here? This is a place of creation and contemplation. Can't work with all manner of, of amateurs wandering the place. This is the food critic Wen Tsai, sir. Yeah, of course, and I'm His Holiness. Now, get out of my kitchen, you hear me? I am Wen Tsai. So thrilled to make your acquaintance. Jesus, Mr. Wen. Well, I'm not wearing my glasses today. Oh, that would certainly explain it. Only a blind man could perpetrate such a travesty. <laughs> yeah, I heard about you. Now, see what they mean. If my incompetent staff had thought to let me know you were coming, I would have arranged a special presentation. Oh, my dear Chef Bernard, I have seen more than enough already. Words cannot describe how I feel about your kitchen. Ah, uh, yes. Perhaps you might care to experience my famous prawn soup? No! I shall not be bought like some cheap travel blogger. I have standards. And you, Chef Bernard, are an offense to them all. I shall return to my table and await your next assault upon my senses. What about the spicy beef salad or some fresh insect meals from Nongkai? No? Shit. I hope he chokes on that little pie of his.
Ah, this looks interesting. Catfish minced with shallots, chilies, and Thai basil served with grilled salt. Mmm. Well done. Waiter? Someday you may own your own restaurant. I can barely bring myself to look at this. God, the reek. The filthy blend of shades. I... I'm quite faint. Anyway, do I really have to repeat everything? No. I don't actually taste the food. I experience it. Don't you understand? It's vulgar to eat. Consomme and sweetbreads? No, not at all. Only a hack must resort to such things. Anyway, do I really have to repeat everything? No, I don't actually taste the food. I experience it. Don't you understand? It's vulgar to eat. I see, sir, Mr. Wen. If I only wanted to taste the food, I might as well have ordered takeout. That way, I might have spared myself the tacky decor. Yes, sir. I mean, what is this, anyway? It looks like some horrid pastiche, some nasty little brothel. No, that would be an insult to nasty little brothels. Does that mean I, I should r remove the food? My god, man. Is your inaptitude complete? I, I'm not sure what you mean, Mr. Wen. Oh, leave it. 
Believe me, if there was any way of judging the, and I use the term very lightly, merits of the cuisine without actually setting foot in this place, believe me, I would. Yes, sir, Mr. Wen. Hey, Mr. Waiter. These clams are... I shan't say what they look like, but suffice to say, I'd expect to see such things in Bangkok. Filth! Stop it. Are you trying to kill me? Is this some sick joke? You know I am coming to visit your little establishment, and you decide, lovely, let me utterly cack all over it. Is that it? These clams are... I shan't say what they look like, but suffice to say, I'd expect to see such things in Bangkok. Filth! Anyway, do I really have to repeat everything? No, I don't actually taste the food. I experience it. Don't you understand? It's vulgar to eat. Extra tip. Hey, you over here. Yes, sir. Show me to the kitchen. This will not be allowed to stand. Um, again? Uh, uh yes. Um, Maybe I, I should just call down and let them know you're coming? Yes, again. Again! Take me there now. Yes, sir, Mr. Wen. Follow me. Thank you. 
Tried every dish on the menu, and I wish it'd just get a real fat and greasy cheeseburger and a couple black coffee. There goes my next ex-husband. Central, moving on from the restaurant. Area is clear. Over. No. Thank you. 